Participatory Composition, Video Culture, Writing, and Electricity by Sarah Aurora. In Sarah Aurora's Participatory Composition, Aurora provides a new method of teaching based on Ulmer's ideas of electricity. During her attendance at the Conference on College Composition and Communication, Aurora took to heart the ideas within Ulmer's presentation. Quote, he reminded us that electricity is often associated with electronic literacy, unquote, 102. However, she notes that Ulmer's definition of electronic literacy is by no means equivalent to electricity, as electricity implies two components not contained within the application of old rhetorics on, as applied to the internet. These two components are electris, electricity and trace, 102. Rather than apply the old rhetorical concepts previously applied to literacy in the non-technological era, Aurora cons insists that by engaging with electric or online participation leaves traces of participation as, unlike text contained within a book, participation is based on only author and reader interaction. The idea of, quote, traces, unquote, that Aurora refers to, is that more of a ripple effect regarding how one participation can travel across the internet from one site to another. However, the ideas of trace and electricity, though seemingly new and a tad abstract, are by no means uncomplimentary to classical rhetorics applied to text in the linear book format. Trace function is components of new rhetoric, not one necessarily opposed to the classical literacy rhetorics, are just a form of applied rhetorical theory that acknowledges the kairos of technology alongside the printed word. For example, the term electricity, as applied to the internet, undoubtedly does leave traces of participation, and within these traces, when juxtaposed with electricity, creates new meaning. Additionally, she focuses on entertainment as a tool of learning, a welcome classroom pedagogical tool replacing the traditional old hat format in which students are tortured with a lecturer droning on and on about the main points in a text, assigns readings for said text, and then expects his or her students to parrot back the main points of what they have read, usually in the format of a paper. Aurora states that, Quote, practice, for example, is entertainment and electricity, and we only have to go as far as YouTube to see how entertainment has expanded from something people only consume in their leisure time to an entity, to an entity with which people engage on a daily basis for any number of reasons, some educational and some not. 110. She then mentions Khan Academy, which is also hosted by YouTube, as an example of a tutorial service that was initially intended for Khan's cousin's education. Since then, it has gone viral. Now people all over the world watch his channel and view different informal tutorials with the desire to learn. As Aurora concludes, quote, this sex into the internet is the, quote, institution in electricity, unquote, as school was the institution of literacy. School and internet, as in the case of Khan Academy, are one and the same, unquote, 118. Using her ideas of entertainment as an effective learning tool, I decided to take a more idiosyncratic and engaging strategy for students in remembering vague words that littered their papers for their first English 1030 essay. Even the best of writers in my two classes fall prey to vaguities such as somewhere, they, them, and other types of words that they could have been more specific with by choosing something more applicable to the context of what they were trying to express. Of all the vague words I ran into while grading papers, the ineffable it reared its bland yet mysterious face. Since prior worksheets and class activities and blog assignments had yet to export it from my students' papers, I decided to apply Aurora's idea of entertainment as a tool of pedagogy. 
After class began, I spoke in whispers to a student sitting isolated in the back of the classroom. I asked him to record video with my phone. Um, unfortunately, my phone is now broken, um, which means I lost this video. But I did not tell said student why I wanted to have him record it. I told the class as a whole that I had to use the restroom and that I would be back soon. And this was not a lie. I did require use of the restroom as I had to put a white garbage bag over my head that I had already wrote it across the middle in thick black sharpie. After stumbling from the restroom back to the classroom, my grand entrance was greeted with absolute silence initially. So I began asking questions while waving my arms in this ridiculous trash bag marked it. What is it? I asked. First response from student one. It is everything. Student two. It is nothing. Student three. Wait, does this have something to do with that old show with cousin it? Me. What does it do? Student two. It exists. I then went on to ask how this related to their essays and wrote a few sample sentences on the board using that dreaded it word and then I had the students revise said sentences with something more specific. In short, I doubt they will ever forget how it is one of the most empty and rhetorically powerless of words. And my students somehow still respect me despite the trash bag day. Um, so I definitely owe props to you, Sarah Aurora.